So when I am cutting tulle, and like specifically, I was just cutting uh, this tulle, and this is more like a stretchy netting. It's a little bit different than a tulle. It was actually harder to work with than a nice stiff tulle. Um, I like to cut with a rotary cutter. Um, or if I'm cutting a veil or so, I like to cut with a rotary cutter because I feel like I get a nicer, cleaner cut. And for one reason is I'm not going up underneath. When I go up underneath, what happens? I'm lifting it. So I'm changing the shape of my fabric. Now, these are an excellent pair of scissors. If I need to cut this tool, they're beautiful. They, it, they cut like butter through it. Okay. Now, I did... I got kind of an uneven cut because I was not, I was holding that in the air. You know, they cut wonderfully, but you see just a little bit of a, sometimes if I do this, I distort the fabric just enough that I get a little bit of a wave. Now it probably won't make that much difference. So why do I have this on a piece of paper? There's a couple of reasons. If I have two layers, say I'm trying to even something up and I want to cut here or I have two layers, any reason, I want to make sure I'm cutting on the two layers. I can see my two layers. If I'm on my cutting board, wow, I can visualize it, and then as soon as I move, I lose it. So that's another reason. The darker the paper, the better. This is kind of okay. This is much better, just like at the eye doctor. Okay. Okay. So this would be the one I would pick to use, would be the darker paper. I have another piece of tulle up here, and I'm going to fold it. So I have two layers here and two layers here. And I'm going to illustrate to you why I had, another reason why I have this paper under here and why I get such a clean cut with my rotary cutter. This cuts perfectly. Oh, I have a little niche in this blade. I should have changed it. So this, this cuts perfectly, right? This is actually stuck, okay, in my mat. And I did not get as clean of a cut. And I had to pull it, so then I distorted, to get it up, I had to pull it, then I distorted my edge. So this is the reason we like to use you know, a medium to dark color paper under our layers of tool. Now, if I only had one, I'd still want paper under it. Maybe I wouldn't have to have the dark green. I could visualize the edge of my tool on here, but I'll tell you what, the darker the color, the better off I seem to be.